REDON stands for Reducing Energy Dependency in Atlantic Area Water Networks. The overall aim of the project is to foster the adoption of hydropower energy recovery technology in built water networks in the Atlantic area. So REDON aims to improve the energy efficiency of water networks through the installation of innovative micro hydropower technology. This technology will recover wasted energy in existing pipe networks across irrigation, public water supply, process industry and wastewater network settings. The impact of the project will be to help the water industry deliver greater savings on CO2 emissions. That's what we set out to achieve and that's what we will deliver as we move into a new and a better future for our planet. Since the inception of the project, we have collaborated with our partners to communicate the project activities and findings to important stakeholders across the Atlantic area. This includes using traditional and social media outlets, via our project website, a wide range of publicity materials, and by attending and organising a variety of events, including webinars and site visits. Our contribution to the project has several aspects. The objective is putting micro idols all over the Europe, or at least the Atlantic area. This platform also allows uh, to obtain the green certificates. It's a kind of reward that your country gives you for producing renewable energy. We have done the business model. We have shown uh, which are uh, the key partners, the value proposition to implement this kind of business. We hope that uh, this kind of installation uh, will be spread all over the Atlantic area sooner. I've been working in the Redon project for the past three years. This is the first uh, large-scale assessment of hydropower resources in a variety of water network types. What this element of the, the project did was examined almost 9,000 different sites and assessed how much energy could be exploited by installing micro hydropower within these water networks. So what the project found was a significant energy resource of between 900 and uh, 2,000 gigawatt hours per year if all of those sites could be exploited using hydropower. If all of those hydropower resources were exploited it could contribute between 2 and 15 percent of the energy required for water services. So going forward it allows uh, policymakers and water utilities to see well, what, what the effect of large-scale investment in, in this technology could be and shows the role that hydropower could play for sustainable development in, in, in water systems in the future. We are able to improve the water system because with the electrification of the water network, we have been able to demonstrate that turbines or the microhydraulic plants is a commercial technology that could be implemented easily in the operating water networks and uh, a reduction uh, in the CO2 uh, emission uh, considering the uh, whole uh, water networks of the Atlantic area. Our work was how to find the best distribution of this micro hydropower plant in the network, which kind of uh, production device can be used in each, which kind of uh, piping and uh, control of the plant is necessary to face the variability on flow rate and pressure. And finally, is the economic benefits that can be obtained by introducing this energy recovery plant. I worked on the design strategy to select the best machine. And this is a method that considers the variability of the flow pattern uh, within a network. I also produced two computer applications, a database containing all the information on a wide range of paths that we collected during our Redown project. What was developed in Redown needs to be implemented as soon as possible to facilitate the data mining and collection of the system's behavior in real time to be possible to act and repair or correct operating rules 
to improve the system efficiency, to increase its sustainability, reliability and flexibility for the integration of several optimization parameters towards better future solutions associated with smart cities and smart grid in a near future. We use the pressure of the pipe with this small pump and to produce energy and that's amazing. The future application for us is uh, lightning in a crossing so you can mix this uh, production of energy with the de designing of your city. We, we, we try a new approach of the energy and we try to use the energy you have in the ground in the pipe. There are four key parts to this work package. Firstly, we will develop a policy support framework manual. Secondly, we will benchmark institutional structures and practices. Third, we will try to quantify the social impacts of micro hydro power energy recovery. And lastly, we will examine how economic factors will influence the uptake of micro hydro power in the market. The outcome of Work Package 8 is that a policy support framework manual to improve governance responses to micro hydro power will be developed. I am proud that our contributions to these work packages has helped deliver a successful EU Interreg Atlantic Area project.